Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mint. Linux Mint normally releases an ISO twice a year in July and usually in December before the holidays. Now this time they were late and they released their new ISO last week. Now one thing you got to say about the Mint team is that they don't make deadlines for themselves and if the ISO is not ready to be released, they don't release it. So you really got to give them the thumbs up for that. So today I'm going to take a look at and I'm going to do an upgrade. So let's get to it. Just in case you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, I'm going to open up a terminal and show you. So I'm opening up a terminal and I'm going to type in weather. And you can see here, it's minus nine. With the wind chill, it feels like minus 17. And it, the winds are 26 kilometers an hour. So it's cold outside. Anyways, I'm off topic. So let's close the terminal. And let's go to my web browser. So last week, Linux Mint released Virginia 21.3. And of course, Linux Mint has four different ISOs and they have Linux Mint 21.3 is the brand new ISO. It's based on Ubuntu and it comes in three different uh, ISOs. Comes with an ISO for with the Cinnamon desktop, the Mate desktop and the XFCE desktop. And of course the fourth ISO is LMDE6 which is based totally on Debian and bypasses Ubuntu. Now that ISO is not new. That ISO was released in September. So what the Mint team is going to do is they have all the changes that are going to be in Linux Mint Ubuntu. You're going to be able to get them in LMDE6 by just going through the regular update process. Okay. So what you could do is, um, and just to show you this, let's go here. Let's click on this. So you can see this comes in three flavors or three different ISOs with a themed cinnamon edition, a theme mate edition, and a theme XFCE edition. And like I said, the LMDE, all these new changes are going to be updated through the regular update process. So what you could do is go here and we're going to go to the release notes. And I'm not going to read all this to you, but this is going to be supported to 2027. And it just gives you some known issues and some release notes and so forth. And I'm not going to read this, but you can read this yourself if you want to. And let's go back. Now it says new features. So let's go here and let's click it on. So one of the main things is that this new ISO is going to give full support for a secure boot. And it's going to have a wider variety of ability or a greater ability for a wider variety of BIOS and EFI implementations. And they have reduced the difference between their Linux Mint Ubuntu and the Linux Mint Debian the differences underneath the hood. Okay, and they've made some changes to Hypnotic. There's new features. There's new features added to Cinnamon 6.0 and to Nemo and the menus in Nemo. They're experimenting with Wayland and they've added Wayland to it, but it's still an experimental stage. Other improvements, 75% scaling is back. Window opacity key binding is back. Stylus buttons, they have new gestures. Warpinator has been improved. And I know I'm just quickly going through this and I'm not really explaining what these things are, but you can go here and read them for yourself. The slick greeter, the login manager or the greeter is now more configurable. They have more artwork and so forth. So my recommendations are as follows. If you haven't 
installed Linux Mint, I would recommend installing LMDE6. That's this one here. I prefer this one over this one because this one bypasses Ubuntu and is based solely on Debian. And if you install this one, after installation, if you go through the regular update process, you're going to receive all the new things that are in this one here. Okay. The next is that if you already have LMDE6, if LMDE6 is already installed on your system or in a virtual machine, and you go through the regular update process, you're going to receive all the new stuff that's in here. If you want a version that's based on Ubuntu and you don't have Linux Mint in your system yet, then you can install this one and you have the choice of the three flavors, the three different ISOs, the one that has um, the Cinnamon desktop or the Mate desktop or, or the EXFC one. Now, if you already have Linux Mint 21.2 installed and you're enjoying it and you like it, you don't have to upgrade to 21.3 because that will receive security updates and be maintained until 2027. So really, if you're running 21.2 and you're happy with it, you don't have to upgrade. But if you're running it and you want to upgrade, there is an upgrade process to go through. And it's a little bit different than just going through the regular update. With the LMDE6, you can go through the regular update process and you're going to receive all the new stuff. But if you're on Linux Mint Ubuntu 21.2, Cinnamon, Mate, or XFCE, and you want the updates, then you're going to have to go through a special and a different update process. And that's what I'm going to take you through today. And I'm going to go to links. I'm going to go to blog. I'm going to click on the blog and right here. And let's make this a little larger. Is that going to be good? So how to upgrade to Linux Mint 21.3. It is now possible to upgrade Linux Mint 21, 21.1, and 21.2 to version 21.3. And they give you instructions. But first of all, they tell you to create a system snapshot. Now, I've never used TimeShift, and they tell you to use to launch TimeShift, and they tell you to do that just in case something goes wrong. But I've never used it, and I have everything backed up. First of all, this is a virtual machine. And second of all, even if this was my bare metal machine, I always have all my personal files backed up and saved. So I wouldn't worry about it. But if you want to use Time Shift, then you should use it. It's a safety precaution. Then, they're telling you if you installed Cinnamon Spices, Applets, Disklet, Disklets, Extensions, Themes, you should upgrade them from the system settings. And you should go through a regular upgrade first as well. So what I'm going to do is let's go into my virtual machine and let's make it full screen. Let's put my password in and I just want to see what I'm logging into here. Oh, I was going to log it because I have awesome window manager installed on here. So you don't want to go into awesome window manager. You want to go into cinnamon, put your password in. So now we can see it's minus 10. The winds are 24 kilometers from the west, and it feels like minus 17 out, even though it's only minus 10. I'm going to click on this icon here, and I'm going to refresh it. I just want to see if there's any regular updates to do, and there are. There's two updates to do. So a new version of the update manager is available. So I'm going to click apply the update. I'm going to put my password in. And it's just going to take a moment. And there's nine updates to do. So I'm going to do those updates. I'm going to install the updates. Put my password in. Okay, so the system is up to date and I don't have to reboot it because Linux Mint tells you if you need to do a reboot. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is it tells you you should update your themes and your applets. 
So I'm going to go to uh, themes here and I'm going to go to advanced settings and I'm just going to add and remove. It tells you you should up update these so I'm going to do it. I don't know why but it does. And then I'm going to close this and I'm going to also update my applets. So I'm going to go to applets. I'm going to download. And you can see here it's downloading them. And that's done. And I don't know if I need to do this, but I'm going to. Well, I'm not going to do any. So that's downloaded. And this is, um, let's just refresh that. And there we go. So now our system is up to date with 21.2. I go into the terminal and type in NeoFetch. So we can see we're on Linux Mint 21.2. And like I said before, you don't have to upgrade. This is going to be maintained and receiving security updates until 2027. But if you want to upgrade, this is how you do it. So we've up, totally updated the system and now we're going to upgrade it. So I'm going to go back into the software manager and open it up and I click on edit. And right here, it's just so easy right here. Look at this right here. Upgrade to Linux Mint 21.3 Virginia. Let's click it on. And here you have stuff you can read. Introduction, release notes, new features, requirements, summary. We can read it right here. You don't even have to go to your web browser. Let's click on next. And I'm just going to click on next again. And I'm going to click on next again. I understand the risk. I want to upgrade to Linux Mint 21.3 Virginia. We're going to click it on. And you're going to click apply. Put your password in. It was really easy. And now it's downloading and upgrading. And for sure, I'm going to have to do a reboot. But what I'm going to do is pause the video and come back when it's finished. Oh, it's asking me to apply again. Yes, I understand. Oh, looks like it's frozen. Okay, I guess it's just going to take time. Okay, there we go. I thought it was frozen, but it's not. Requirements is not responding. Let's wait. Okay, there you go. So it's working, and um, I think I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's time to reboot. So don't go away. So, we're finished. It took about 10 minutes, and it might be a little hard to see because I'm on a dark theme, but there's a smiley face here with a wink. And it says your operating system was successfully upgraded. Please reboot your computer for all changes to take effect. Okay, so let's reboot. Let's restart. And we're just rebooting into the new system. So it looks like everything went well. It was easy to do. And now we're at the login screen. So I'm going to type in my password. And here we are. We're in a new system. Now, of course, everything looks the same. And that's because it's not a brand new, totally revised new system. They made minor changes, updated a few things, but basically it looks the same. And let's do uh, open up a terminal. Let's do a Neo fetch. And now we can see we're on Linux Mint 21.3. And I'm not going to give you a tour of all the changes. I mean, you can read about them. And like I said, you don't really need to update. You could stay on 21.2, which is going to be, which will receive uh, security updates and maintenance until 2027. Anyways, that's how you upgrade to the new system. It was really easy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my virtual machine. Let's open up LMDE6 and let's see if we can just get that updated. Oh, and this one is, is encrypted. So I'm going to put my encryption password in.
and I want to make sure I'm logging into Cinnamon and not the awesome window manager. Put my password in and it's going to go back to my web browser. So it says here, LMDE6 will receive all the new updates featured in Linux Mint 21.3. This will happen shortly before the stable release. So the stable release of Linux Mint 21.3 came out last week. So we should be good to go. So I'm going to go back to my virtual machine. So you see I have Linux Mint 21. Well, here it's labeled 21.2, but really it's 21.3 now. So I should change this. And we have Linux Mint Debian. So let's click on my Linux Mint Debian. Let's open it up. Let's just go to a terminal. It looks the same, eh? I have Xterm in here. Let's open it up. Let's do a Neo fetch. So we can see we're on Linux Mint Debian, LMDE6 Fay. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm just going to refresh this. Let's refresh it. Oh, you can't see that, right? So let's move my head out of here and let's go back here and let's refresh this. Let's refresh. Just refreshing the update manager. And there's some updates to do. So let's click it on. Apply the update. So we're applying the uh, update to the update manager. Let's put my password in. I guess this doesn't make for a really exciting video just showing how to do updates. And it's just going to take a moment. Hopefully it won't be too long. Oh, wow. There's 45 updates to do. So... I'm going to click on the updates and I'm going to pause the video to install the updates. And there's new kernels being installed. So I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to put my password in. And we're doing the updates. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's finished. So don't go away. OK. So my Linux Mint Debian is up to date. The update finished. Took about five minutes. So what I'm going to do is reboot. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to restart the system. Let's click on restart. I'm going to put my password in. This one is encrypted, so I'm putting my encryption password in. It's going to take me to the login screen, and I'm going to log in. And then close the video. Put my uh, user password in. And here we are. We are in the updated Linux Mint Debian. And the funny thing is, is um, if you look at... So this is Linux Mint 21.3. And if we go down, this is Linux Mint Debian. And they look the same. And they are the same. Almost. Except one is based on Debian and the other one is based on Ubuntu. And that's it. In this video, I talked about some of the new features that are in Linux Mint 21.3. And I showed you how to upgrade from 21, 21.1, and 21.2 to the new version of 21.3. And I also showed you how to upgrade Linux Mint Debian. Now, I know I didn't really show all the new features. Some of the Linux YouTubers are doing fantastic videos on showcasing Linux Mint 21.3. It's almost like a commercial. And I really didn't show you that. And really, I don't think there was any major changes in it. And even somewhere on the Linux Mint site, it tells you there were not major changes to it. Just some minor changes and some new things, a few new things. So like I said, the upgrade, upgrading is easy. But you don't need to upgrade because you 21.2 is going to be maintained until 2027. So if you want to upgrade, you can. And if you don't want to upgrade, you don't have to. And if you do want to upgrade, I showed you how to upgrade the version based on Ubuntu and the version based on Debian. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mansion.